here we go. Let's see. Yak Hacker Kayak Cart. Uh, this company reached out to me and asked if they could send me one of these. And if you're not familiar with these, they go on the bottom of kayaks, like my Hobie one. And you can pull the kayak so you don't have to pick it up. The I have two different kayaks. The, the blue one is, like, I think it's made by like Lifetime. And I have my Hobie. The Hobie is very heavy. So you do need one of those, especially if you're loading like all your equipment stuff. Like I have my... Uh, crate that I take with me and all my equipment. So it does get pretty heavy. Uh, with these carts, they make it uh, like a bazillion times easier and it's so convenient. You just pretty much attach it underneath the kayak and pull it and it's super easy. So we're gonna take a look at this and see what it is. It is not a comparison video. Uh, I gotta tell you like five million times, it's not a comparison video. I am not comparing this one to this one. There is no way. Uh, for starters, this one is all plastic and my Hobie is all metal. $250, $100. Again, $250, $100. It is not a comparison video. Um, that one has dealt with a lot of abuse. Uh, so I'm sure it's going to stand up. It's metal. This one is plastic, but what I did notice though is look at the weight. That It's heavy. So we're going to get it uh, unboxed and take a look at it. And then we're going to go crabbing. Try to do this one-handed. Probably cut myself. I got to say, the shipping was fast. You can get this on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description of where to get it. And the people are super, super, super nice to deal with. Packaging is like top notch. There it is. All their information. It says no tools required, so we're going to find out. It did come with these straps, which I don't know if I'm going to... If I have to use them, I don't know. It's got a lot of stuff. Uh, it, it looked like it had like mounts or something where you had to mount it, to mount like the little clips to the kayak to put the straps on to hold it in place. I don't want to do that. I don't want to use that at all if, if that's the case. But I'm going to get this thing all set up and then we'll check it out. I think I failed that shape. That shape thing you know you got to put the shapes inside the the uh, little squid little container when you're a kid because I was trying to get this thing set up and I had like the hardest time ever there's like a uh, it's like a top and a bottom and you got to clip them together with these little clips on the end like this it took me a little bit but I got it and I pushed the clips down then I put the wheels on there are no tools required so far but I did see this. They got some pretty cool stuff. These coolers look awesome. This, These cups, not this one in particular, but like this style uh, I have in my kayak and I love it. It's sort of like my catch-all cup. Like tools or um, bait, stuff like that. I throw it in there. Uh, oh yeah, the clips. So these clips did... These clips did come with it, and it does say you gotta put it onto the kayak. If you look on the side, that's where those little straps go in, right there. I'm not gonna put this on. I don't wanna drill this into my kayak. So we're gonna see if it works without it. I hope it does. All right, let me finish setting it up. There it is. Got it, it took me, uh, I don't know, five minutes, if that, to set it up. It's so easy. Everything kind of pieces together on its own. Even the hole pads. It has like a little clip right here. You just clip it in and fold it right over and see they come right off and it goes right back on. It's the, man, this thing's so easy. Uh, the wheels, here's the cotter pin. It's just a plastic one. You just pull this up and then this comes down and the wheel will slide right off if you want to take it apart. But you just push it down and you'll hear it click and it locks in place. But look at this buckle. This thing is legit. It's all metal, it's heavy metal. So we'll see if it holds up to salt water. But so far I like it. It looks like between this buckle right here and the other strap, 
you'll just be able to pretty much put the strap over and then tighten it. So you really don't need those, I don't think. All right, let's put it to use, see how it works. A little windy today, but uh, yeah, that's it. So what's on there, you can obviously, you can tell a huge difference between plastic wheels and the rubber on, on mine. But I mean, as far as like ease of putting it on, it's pretty easy. That one's obviously much easier because the, the uh, two uh, poles that come up fit right into the kayak itself, this right here. And that one, uh, it doesn't, it just goes underneath. So it's kind of hard to get it kind of like balanced, I guess. Like, like one side was more this way, it had to move it that way. But I mean, these straps are like, they're thick. So we're going to bring it over. Ashley's got everything set up now. Uh, all baited up, ready to go. I'd say 100 bucks is definitely worth it. Definitely, definitely worth it. We're using chicken necks, topless traps. You're allowed 10 traps per person. I only have nine, though. Uh, I had 10. And then someone decided to throw it into the prop on the boat and <laughs> we had to cut it loose. Yeah. 